Welcome back to the farm. Hey, feeding cattle. A couple days before Christmas, uh, we've got our farm work Christmas party, I call it, at my place tomorrow. I'm gonna show you getting set up for that maybe a little bit later or tomorrow morning. But in the meantime, right before Christmas, I'll show you something funny. Along where I was cleaning this ditch bank out, smoothing that off, I ended up opening up the gate to the pasture field. Kind of muddy as we started in, but fairly dry out there. I wanted to let the cows get out and and they there's a there's a pile of them out there they're just having fun they're getting giving a, a break their hooves a break from the cement that they got to be on all the time and the bulls out there i just seen him he was in a full mount so yeah they're kind of bucking around uh late december on pasture in michigan very rare i've got the vet coming believe it or not we're gonna start getting them in i've got some of these cows painted green there's one there uh, about 30 of them he's gonna pregnancy check i want to get this check in i'm going to show you that and we've got to clean the calf pen or the calf barn my little brother takes care of the calf barn we're going to clean that i say literal little he's like 38 six foot four so he's not a little younger brother clean that his kids are here christmas break that way the baby calves stay dry and warm not overly cold uh but they're saying some rain coming so Let's get that done. Oh, and I got a cow in the pen that's having, I'm gonna you know, wait till after the vet check to see if she'll calve on her own, but I seen a little bit of afterbirth coming out first. Anytime you see afterbirth come out, besides just fluid and a hoof, generally there's an issue. So right from getting that done, we're gonna go right in and check her out. But until then, let's go. Climbing them out, keeping them dry. Yeah, fresh straw. Put it right in, beautiful. Door on. Oh, nice. Putting another one in. Moving them out. Moving them over so we can clean this corner pen. Come on, bud. A couple more. Moving them over. Get her. Ow! All moved over. Ready to clean. Oh. Fresh bedding. More fresh bedding. Another fresh bedding. He keeps the space in between them. Going in for the clean job. Turn maneuver. She must got bread right right back. Four months. You don't want to go. Stalls are empty. Fill them back up. Check's going extremely well. Most of them are pregnant. Come on down there, bud. Loaded back up. Yeah. 
Yeah. Boy, she's quite far along. Has she been in milk a long time? Uh, since May. Yeah, because uh, she's like uh, six months or more. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. Okay. Home, setting up, Chloe's in the house, Grant, Catherine, and Summer. Give me five, buddy, there you go. Okay, Summer, how are we doing today, Cat? Good. Bye. Yeah, frizzy hair. So here's the picnic table eating area. This is just a rough right now. I'll get you when it's a little more ready, but this is just a pre-day pre setup. We're not going to do much over there in the workout spot. It's just going to be right here. Radio playing, heater blaring, although it's not that cold, which will be nice. It'll, but one year we did it, third year we're doing Christmas here, it was negative something. But I had it 65 degrees in here with that. So tomorrow will probably be, we probably will just get it up to temp and shut it off. But So this is the pre, the food will be here. And that's about it. Got this ditch bank project going on still. Got a low spot over here. I'll show you where the water wants to funnel. I'm kind of filling it in. And this is all going to have to be seeded down a little bit this spring. Mostly, uh, grass that was growing on that ditch and it's just been too damp for it to, if you're gonna burn that it's just it's gonna be grass so I'm not worried about spreading a bunch of weeds out in there that's all gonna get covered up anyway the drain that runs through there so that's why there's a gap but this this backhoe Seems to be doing doing the trick. Lots of power. here and take a look I think what I'm gonna do is there's a pinch point here you seen that with the drone and it comes off the road and it kind of comes into this little valley and it comes right through here this water couldn't really get away because it was overgrown then the whole front of the farm the water funnels through there on the back side or the front side of that shop and I've got some tile centers to when we tile the field and they're about they're probably a foot over a foot in diameter i'm probably gonna bolt probably about wrap and bolt about five of them six of them together and that'll put me way out there and i'll be able to fill this right in and then i'll have the water being able to get out and then this will be i got a bunch more dirt up there see how this is just a bunch of grass and stuff there ain't a bunch of weeds in there but I'll, then i got a bunch more dirt that i'll be able to use to just nice and easy cover that up don't crush it don't move it and that'll get me out to here where she wants to go. It's just got overgrown. Then it'll clean this right up. 
then when we go to cut this in the spring or throughout the summer you'll be able to go right through this and maybe at the end of it i'll pile some rocks and uh keep the end so it don't get pinched off but yeah going pretty good what we got is this cow's calf is in backwards it's like folded the butt's right in here and the, the hook's going that way and the, the head's down there it should be coming out head first but trying to take this hoof and get it flipped around so it can it's still going to come out backwards but oh my new shirt it's still going to come out backwards but this way it's not going to come out it's folded right over i got the hoof right now <clears throat> Push it back in there so we can flip it around. Ah. Ah. Guys, I got one. One leg. That was a. I gotta get the other one out. Where's the other one? Oh boy. Alright, I got it. I see his butt. I think I got this other leg. We got an audience over there. Oh! Ah! I got it. Oh! Oh! Now it'll come. Look at. That's how you know it's in backwards. You can't see it right there. The tail's right there. Oh. Oh. Get it, guys. Let her sit here for a minute. I've got these chains on there, so I got something to grab onto. It's still gonna come out extremely hard. It's in backwards. The hips are trying to come out right now. And usually it comes out head first. That stretches it. But the hips are coming down hard. She come out, and she she might not have made it. No, she's been gone a while, guys. Eyes are gray. It's heart right here. I'm pumping, but it probably drowned in there. It's not supposed to be that way. See how she looks all bloated, full of fluid. Most calves don't look like that. That was a heifer calf. Took in a lot of fluid for mom we're gonna let mom lick this calf off anyway give him some time okay all these aunts and sisters are are checking out what happened not the way we wanted it then i had lonnie and jack she doesn't know the mom she's gonna clean that calf up anyway like it's alive a lot of strain and stress on my forearms i, I ruined my new shirt but the biggest thing is you want to save the mom the calf yeah it's a pain I've never, I haven't seen a full fluid like that. I've saved them before. I've got them out before they made it, but this one must have been there too long. She was laying down when we got in here, and that was probably when it happened. So, either way, we're going to be milking her, this cow. She's going to make it. We'll just give them some time, and that's all we can say about that. Guys, next day, the rain moved in quick, fast, and in a hurry. This morning, when we were finishing up milking, we got puddles everywhere now. The good news is it's family Christmas our work family Christmas party at my place I'm um, just getting done feeding manures all hauled out and everybody's getting heading home my family's getting ready to to get their finishing touches on the garage so we're gonna head there they're waiting on me I might have to get changed but made a rule if you, you have the most kids you have to host the party so that's me so let's go Pack the, the wood stove full. And we're going to head in and see what all the commotion's about. My wife's wreaths are still holding up nicely. Fresh evergreen. Kind of quiet. There's quiet. It's quiet in here, but here they come. Grant's got an Oreo before dinner. Chloe. You're looking nice. Ow! And yes, you guys are all looking good. So show us the party. The food's going on the main table. 
We got a little shrimp cocktail going. And yes, looks good. I know where I'm sitting. I'm sitting by the M&M's. Oh, holy cow. M&M's. And some of that. It looks good. <laughs> we got a tribute. We've got mom here. That was her old cow sign underneath her tree. Mom. I think what we'll do is we'll try to have family pictures in front of this. What do you think, guys? Actually, I came out here this morning and Catherine and Chloe are already sitting there. And uh, that's what they were sitting. So that was kind of cool. All right. I'll keep you updated. Grant. You can't be eating cookies before lunch. <laughs> he just got to set, but he doesn't do it. Okay, we're in full force. Plastic utensils. Maurice salad. Chicken. Green beans. Mashed potatoes. Gravy. Catered work Christmas party. We didn't want to put the cookie on too many people. So we just cater it in. And... Uh, after losing mom, we still haven't recovered from that part yet, but we'll we'll start cooking again at some point. But in the meantime, this is how we're doing it. All ready to eat. I've just been sitting over here taking it all in. We've got white elephant gifts, and we got a medicine ball for the kids. I'll try to let you in on that. Rochelle wrapped a whole bunch of cellophane. She saw it on the internet. And uh, the kids are going to unwrap it, and there's a bunch of stuff in there that they can get. Kill that. What do you got, Bev? You watching them open gifts? Summer got her own present. Like your doll? Aww. Almost time for the saran wrap game. Even Summer wants to know what the game's all about. It's getting real quiet in here now. She's trying to explain the rules. There's the medicine ball. There's the medicine ball. Full of money, lottery tickets, and McDonald's gift cards, and many, many more. Lance is still playing, even though he looks like he's 37 and a half. He has to wear gloves. She's ripping. She's not. She's got to roll double. Oh, she got. Oh, yes. Oh, she rolled double. Take the ball from her. She got a dollar. She's crazy. Jack's trying to roll double. He ripped that. Oh, he cut you short. Sorry about your luck. Whoa, she's trying to punch him. She's got a good pull there. Oh, rip into it. I see some goodies. Rip it! Yes! They're getting flustered. They can't do it. Whoa! Guys, that game is rolling. I'm gonna take some trash out while we're intermission it took Rochelle probably over two hours straight to roll that medicine ball up like that and they are they're still playing it it's just they've been on it for probably 30 40 minutes and uh yeah so the kids are loving it that's what it's all about back in swing it around hit jack use your power <laughs> hit him with it Bounce right off. rip it rip it get that buddy <laughs> Get the oh, money. hot hands! Let's go to the hot hands! It's gonna be good! Yeah! Working! Nice pull! Nice pull! Nice pull! Nice pull! Alright! Next day, another heifer being extremely calm, trying to calf. Lonnie's got a glove in there. He's going to reach in there and feel for the head and, the, and make sure it's going in the right direction. Not like the last one. You feel the head? And yeah, feel its jaw right here. The mouth? Yeah. Nose? Okay. Yeah. Uh, she's fully dilated, it looks like, but the opening's just, I've seen a heck of a lot bigger. I can tell you that. So she's really struggling. Look at the way she's just kind of like slumped over. 
I think we're gonna attempt to help her get this one out and uh, that way she can have a good day and uh, have some time with the baby. Hopefully we have a better outcome with this one. Still rainy, extremely foggy, damp. We're gonna lay some more fresh bedding in here. Look at her, she's, she's just exhausted already. Guys, thank God we attempted to help pull this calf. Big, big calf. Push. Oh boy, there's some pressure. Got it. Oh girl, nice and easy. It's alive. Nice and easy. Release. Easy. Release. Extremely large calf bull doing all right. We're gonna try to get mom over here. She was resting. There's some concerned aunts and sisters. Yeah, that was a tight fit, man. Big calf, big heifer, but hey, bud, you want to go see your see your son? You're a little bit in shock here. Atta girl, atta girl. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on, go ahead. You're all right. Go ahead. That was a lot, lot for her. Oh yeah, let's see what kind of mother she is. Look at her. Going right in, cleaning her off. Good job, mama. Moving on, Lonnie just rinsed off this new skid steer. We're gonna change the oil. You gotta take these posts and we're gonna drive it up on there because it's kind of got a goofy setup. Or you change your oil, it's in the back, you gotta drop the pan. The model before this is just inside one of these covers, but I believe this is the same as the other new one, the filter. We gotta get the number of the filter and get it sent here, but so that's what we're doing. She's getting juicy on me. Uh, uh. All right, I've got the oil draining out. They give you this little tool there and it screws on the drain plug. Um, it's weird, you take the cap off and you put that on and it releases it and it just drains out automatically. Very awkward position. Um, I don't really care for it. I wish they would have did it and kept it over here. We still haven't found the oil filter. I guess I'm going to have to read the owner's manual and look for it. Lonnie's looking on TikTok or Google. We're trying to figure it out. Cleaning out the, the air filter. She was pretty dusty. Found the oil filter. It was back where you used to drain the oil by the battery. I have to get that off. A little bit of clean that off better. And we'll have to get that filter. Oil's been drained. He's transferring it over to the bucket. Oil or air filter's back in. Waiting on that oil filter. And we'll go ahead and throw some oil back in it. Good plate going back on. Grease in it. Yard. Bunks are getting filled up with hay. These cows just got milked. The rest of them are all in there waiting in line. What I did was I ended up 
slapping some oil all around this skid steer. That way the, the manure don't stick to it as bad. And she's greased, serviced, 190 some hours on it now. We're gonna probably, we change it usually every 200 hours right in there, wherever it ends up. 50 degree day, I wanna take advantage of it and get that thing back up to snuff. Cows are doing pretty good. This is gonna be, this is the last video of the year, 2023. Hard to believe it's already over, but we've got two fields of corn left, so look for that in January. And uh, yeah, hope everybody had a good Christmas. We did. We had mom there. I had her ashes with me in her picture. I know she's with us. She's happy that we're holding it together. It's not been easy. Uh, obviously, if you guys know, if you lost a parent, it's not easy, but I, I know she's still, she, she's watching over us, so. On that note, guys, we'll see you next year. Take care. God bless.